Yes, guys, I have a mask. I am staying fully clean, okay? I'm gonna try so hard not to cuss in this video, but it's gonna be really hard. Guys, it's Angel, AKA King Angel, AKA and the King, bitch. If this video gets a lot, of, oh no, we are not doing that. Look at my hair. If this video gets a lot of views, you know, I want it to be monetized, so I'm probably not gonna cuss. Um, you might know me from Twitter or whatever, so. Um, <clears throat> so I kind of, I was bored, you know, we're in quarantine, and I kind of wanted just to make this video. Um, I kind of wanted just, I kind of want, I kind of want, oh my God, this is gonna be a long ass video. <laughs> no! Oh my God. It's so fucking hot in here. I kind of wanted to make this video because, um, I don't know, I haven't, people have been telling me like, why don't you make YouTube videos? And personally guys, like, I'm not funny. Like, I'm awkward as shit. Like, I'm 21, like I just turned 21, I'm a baby, like. I'm, I'm awkward as shit. Like, I'm just a normal boy, I guess, that does OnlyFans, that does I kind of wanted to make this video just to give you guys like a little intro of why I started my OnlyFans, how I started my OnlyFans, and when I started my OnlyFans. If you guys don't know what OnlyFans is, it's a social media based platform. It's like Netflix. So, for example, if I post something on my OnlyFans and it's not necessarily allowed on YouTube or not necessarily allowed on Instagram, um, then I can give you guys, you know, private stuff to my OnlyFans and you guys can pay a monthly subscription. It's like Netflix um, for, for private content. And for private content, I mean, you know, that private content. Or if you're just a regular YouTuber, you can post like your music, you can post, um, you know, stuff that you don't want to show yet, like exclusive content. Um, as for me, I post the private stuff, the private content, the adult content. So a lot of people, uh, this, I'm gonna try to keep this video like, I have like a little paper right here. So this is gonna tell me like everything. I wrote down everything, I wrote down all the tips. Uh, so question number one is why I started OnlyFans. Uh, I started OnlyFans because I saw that everyone else was doing it, but this was back like last year. I was like, dude, like I should try it. Like, I, so I made a Twitter from like zero followers. I was very, you know, lost. I was doing security. I have my security, um, you know, certificates and stuff. Um, I was also working at a movie theater and uh, that job didn't really work out. So um, I kind of like took a risk, you know? It's not bad to take a risk. And when I took that risk, shit blew up and you know, here I am. Uh, so that's kind of why I started because I really didn't, you know, I was taking a risk and the risk kind of came out good, okay? Obviously, if you don't have a Twitter, you can you ha kind of have to make a Twitter to promote your OnlyFans content. Um, so, uh, after that, after you create your Twitter, after you create your OnlyFans, uh, you kind of have to, uh, to called, you know, obviously put your profile picture. Uh, don't put any nudity in your profile picture because that will be banned and that's not allowed on your profile picture or your uh, your banner on OnlyFans. Uh, so try to keep it cute. Try to keep it, you know, like interesting, but like don't post like fully, you know, nudity, basically. Don't be fully like uncovered. Do like a nice cute one. Uh, so yeah, have a nice bio. Uh, that's kind of the second. Um, I guess I'm getting on to my tricks now, my tips and tricks. Uh, so if you want to have like a, a good bot, you want to have a good bio because that's what's going to keep the, uh, you know, the fans attention. That's going to keep, you know, so basically, um, you want to have a catching like eye opening bio. So like, how old are you? What do you do? How tall are you? What's your, you know, your, your stats? What are you into? What, what can the fans expect from your OnlyFans? Um, what kind of videos you post? You kind of want to get them, you know, uh, 
it's like a little uh preview you know and you kind of want to get them um prepared of what they're gonna you know pay for uh you want you kind of want to get them prepared for what they're gonna subscribe for uh so let's talk about pricing so for pricing um let me just tell you this when i first started my only fans i did not have a high price that's because um i feel like personally you have to work your way up when um you know your pricing uh you kind of want to start small you know to build your fans to build to build your fan base um so for your pricing you kind of have to uh you know start like i would start honestly for a beginner i started at like 6.99 7.99 that's how much i um you know i i began from that price people are not going to subscribe if you know it's a high price twenty dollars thirty dollars that's kind of not going to cut it um that's not going to do it i mean only if like you're a, you know a huge youtuber but if you're barely starting uh from only fans i suggest a low price only because you know you kind of want to start off small and you kind of want to build you know you can't just put your your stuff you know at a high price and have no content have one video have two videos people are going to unsubscribe and you want to keep engagement and that's my next thing um engagement and traffic uh so for the next thing for engagement i i'm gonna tell you guys this you guys have to if you guys want to start an only fans you guys have to keep your fans like let them know that you're there and like you're not just you know you have to be consistent you have to reply to their dms you have to it's not like you 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 know like you're forced to you should want to reply to the people that subscribe to your stuff i mean they're paying every month for your your content and you should uh you know engage with your fans because i think that's the most imp most important part engage and reply to dms like their like their comments you know engage and i, th I think you guys know what i'm talking about so on to the next one after that uh so after engagement i'm gonna want to talk about advertising and the kind of content that you put out so with advertising you're gonna want to post your advertisements on twitter that is the number one i'm telling you guys and instagram a little bit but the main source of your advertising is gonna come from twitter a lot of people on twitter like they that's like the fastest like it's the best way you know for um uh clicks engagement impressions it's the best way and um as far as uh clips and um let me see as far as your content type if you're posting you know pictures like have like a sexy picture um you if you're if you want to start off don't <laughs> I'm not promoting nudity or I'm not promoting it. This is if you want to do it, this is, uh, you don't have to do what I did, but how I started was I posted, uh, I used to cover myself with emojis. So you kind of get your fan base going by making them subscribe because, you know, after they subscribe, they won't get that, um, that emoji covered and they will get the full access. Um, so that's the kind of t kind of kind of content uh, tips that I recommend is don't give yourself all like <laughs> when you first start don't give yourself everything don't give them everything you kind of want them to uh, keep going and keep looking at your stuff to make them want to subscribe um, so as far as advertisements that's what I mean OnlyFans, the next the next one, the next tip I want to give out is OnlyFans uh, came out with like the DM option. So the DM option is um, basically you can have even more private DM, like private access options. So basically Only, OnlyFans came out with like a thing where they have DM, uh, DM videos. So basically like say they subscribe for $3.00. Uh, to your OnlyFans and then you post you send out like a, a mass message to all your your fans like hey this video is $15 it's like a 10 minute video and you send it out to all your DMs um, and then once they click it they they can buy the video in your DMs so that's another way if you want to get um, you know you want to make more money on OnlyFans 
uh, mass DMs and yeah, it, it works for sure. Yes, I'm sorry you guys if this video is all over the place, but I'm trying to think of other tips on my OnlyFans, but I don't know if there's more. You guys just have to be consistent. I I don't think that fans will keep subs I don't think fans will stay subscribed to your OnlyFans if you're not consistent with your content and if you're not consistent with your engagement. I feel like that's very important um, to any social media, you know, platform. You just have to stay consistent uh, so people can, you know, uh, stay entertained, you know? That's what people like. They like to be entertained. Um, so yeah, if anything, I'll make a part two on this video because I know OnlyFans is always coming out with different uh, features and that changes the game. So uh, I think that's a few tips for now. Uh, but I asked you guys on Twitter to ask me questions of like, just a Q and A and shit. Uh, the first question that uh, this person asked was, what do you, where do you see yourself five years from now? Um, honestly, now five years from now, I see myself getting my dream car. Cause I've, you know, I have this car right here, but I got this car when I was like, 17 or 18 and um this wasn't my dream car um let me see also like i see myself in a relationship i know that's kind of weird but i kind of want to settle down five years from now because i'll be like 26 <laughs> i'm not saying that's old but like i kind of want to have like not a like a relationship like a full-on relationship um but i kind of want to start dating if that makes sense it's not that I'm scared to be alone, but like, like, I don't know. I think because I'm a Scorpio and like, I want to settle down already. I want to have kids. I want to get married and shit. So, um, yeah. Also, I want to obviously have my own house by um, when I'm 26. I want to, you know, be moved out already and independent. So, yeah. What's your idea of a perfect first date? Honestly, like, I'm fucking chill. Like, I'm very chill. Like, I love, like, car nights, like, driving to the beach, walking on the beach at night, or, like, Santa Monica Pier, like, a like a coffee date. That's kind of cute. Or, like, going to Starbucks and then, like, going to, like, a nice view. That's, like, really cute. And, like, I don't know. I, I feel like, like... <laughs> I have a corona but yeah i think that's really cute uh, like for a first date like even to the movies that's like pretty chill i'm a i'm a dork so and the last question but not the least what is my biggest body insecurity what am i most insecure about guys i'm very i guess like you can say i'm very insecure about my nose like it's pretty like it's like a decent size i've always been insecure about my nose for some reason um people say that they like it but honestly i wish it was like a little bit smaller for some reason um but i've i've always been insecure about my nose and my lips growing up um people used to make fun of me for my lips growing up and now it's like a thing to have big lips so i'm like damn I really got made fun of for nothing, right? I wrote down as much as I can, you guys. I hope you guys enjoy this video. Hopefully, it helped you guys. If you guys ever want to start an OnlyFans, um, it's you know it's it's a job, and I don't care what anyone says. Uh, it has a lot of advertising, a lot of consistency, a lot of um, personal skills that you need to work. Like it's it's a it's a process, and. Um, it's social media it's a content creator job um but i hope you guys got something from this video i hope you guys liked it subscribe down below turn on the turn on that what did people what do youtubers say what do youtubers say turn on that bell down below to get a notification every time i post post up and be safe be clean stay safe and Take it easy, you guys. I love you guys. Thank you guys for watching this video. And yeah. Bye, guys. Bye. I'm fucking weird. Ah, bye.